phony letter writing campaign targeting Brett Kavanaugh fools 21 newspapers. During the four day period last week, at least 21 newspaper editors across the United States were duped by a phony letter writing campaign in which an identical letter, each signed with a different name, was sent to each paper attacking President Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court, Brett Kavanaugh. The letter stated, Brett Kavanaugh is the wrong choice to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy on the Supreme Court. If he is confirmed to the Supreme Court, everything that we hold dear as a nation will be at stake. From protecting a woman's right to choose to dismantling the Affordable Care Act, Judge Kavanaugh could be the swing vote that takes away a right. His lifetime appointment would also mean he could also cement the Citizens United decision for decades, giving corporate special interests and mega donors with extreme agendas even more influence in our democracy. It's time to take the for sale sign off our democracy. The Senate should not vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. The papers that were taken in included the Washington Times, D.C., the Boston Herald, M.A., the Columbus Dispatch, O., the Dallas Morning News, T.X., and the San Antonio Express News, T.X., the Grand Junction Sentinel, C.O., the Wilmington News Journal, D., the Cordeline Press, I.D., the Form, Fargo, North Dakota, the Beaumont Enterprise, TX, the Santa Monica Daily Press, CA, the Union Democrat, Sonora, California, the Daily News, Newburyport, Massachusetts, the Eagle Tribune, North Andover, Massachusetts, the Daily Hampshire Gazette, Northampton, Massachusetts, the Times Herald Record, Middletown, New York, the Daily Reflector, Greenville, North Carolina, the Express Times, Easton, Pennsylvania, the Republican Herald, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, the Herald Zeitung, Brownsville, Texas, and the Martinsville Bulletin, VA. The Daily Mail reported that Richard Lodge, editor of the Eagle Tribune in North Andover, Massachusetts, said it was likely that that person or group used it to sign her name and send this astroturf letter to my paper, I got duped, which is embarrassing and frustrating. The Daily Mail added, the conservative Liberty Headlines blog first took note of the duplicate letters targeting Kavanaugh. Quinn Hillier, a contributing editor at National Review Online who spotted the trend, told DailyMail.com that the rather transparent astroturfing shows that the leftist intensity against Kavanaugh is not naturally widespread, but 